Now, the world-renowned architect Richard Rogers, who was behind some of the most striking buildings of the past half century, has died at the age of 88. Our correspondent David Silito looks back on his life. It's hard to exaggerate what a shock this building was. The Pompidou Centre's facade with its confusion of pipes, ducts and external corridors was revolutionary. The work of Renzo Piano and a young British architect called Richard Rogers. The building itself is inside out. In other words, what you usually see inside, which are those long, dank, dark corridors which you have in big institutional buildings, and that is an institution, theoretically, though I dislike the word, it's an institution, there's long, dark corridors on the outside. They're actually the fun. The inside-out design made the interior airy and open, and equally important was the public space outside. This was 60s egalitarianism, inspired by the piazzas of his hometown, Florence, in Italy. His parents had arrived in Britain in the 30s. The young Richard Rogers struggled at school. He was dyslexic, but he got into art college and then trained as an architect, where he met another future superstar of British architecture, Norman Foster. Their high-tech style, though, took a while to win favour. His inside-out Lloyd's building in London was not to everyone's taste. It's what the, the, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, described as a carbuncle on the face of whatever you like to call it. But his moment had come. Madrid Airport, with its huge bamboo roof, won the Sterling Prize. The Millennium Dome was signature Rogers. Again, innovative technology to create a huge, flexible space. Happens. How do you get from one place to the other? But not all his plans were popular. The proposed transformation of London's South Bank was fought off by residents. But it didn't stop politicians seeking his advice on reshaping cities. There is a very major part of my architecture which is about trying to create a, a world which is influenced for the better through public space, through private space and so on. The Welsh Zenith, Terminal 5 at Heathrow. He was bold, colourful, and has more than left his mark. The Richard Rogers vision was of a city that was open, sociable, welcoming. The British architect Richard Rogers, who's died at the age of 88.